I am a nuclear physicist. Uh, specifically, I'm an experimentalist, and so we do experiments um, in nuclear physics. Now you might ask, well, what is that? Um, so technically, uh, what we do is we do uh, experiments on what we call exotic nucleides. So uh, if you think about, um, say, here's a, an atom, okay? Um, and then I strip away all the outside parts, which are all the electrons, and I'm left with protons and neutrons in the middle. And those things are all held very tightly together via the strong force. Now, it doesn't look exactly like a ball like this. It's actually uh, what we would say fuzzy because it's quantum mechanical. So specifically in my work, we look for things that are very neutron rich, which just means that there's that this ball, right, this, this nucleide, is mostly uh, consists of neutrons. Or at least for a given number of protons, it's got as many neutrons as you can possibly pack into it before it falls apart. So the direct information we get out of it is we learn more about whatever nucleide we're studying. And then what that does is it adds to the full picture of all the nucleides, because we know a lot of things about roughly a thousand nucleides. But we don't know a lot of things about nucleides that are far from stability because they're hard to make. And they're pretty unusual, right? They have weird characteristics. And so what we do is we try to understand what we're observing. And then that becomes information that can be used um, by uh, nuclear theorists to actually build better models. The goal, which is an ambitious one, is to have a single model that describes everything. Everything from hydrogen all the way up to and past uranium, which is quite a feat. Um, and we're certainly a long ways away from that. Even though the computer power has come along, uh, has really come a long ways, um, theorists are still trying to get everything right. And so, as an experimentalist, what we do is we add another piece to the puzzle, right? We add another observable. We say, look, we can make this, and here's what we observe, right? Here's the energy it has. Modern physics, for me, was the one that really got me excited, because I started to see things that just didn't make sense, and then finding out, no, that's actually how it works. Um, and it felt like someone had, you know, pulled back the curtain, like in The Wizard of Oz, and I could see the person moving all the dials. And it was the first time I ever really felt like that, like I saw something that, you know, everyone should see, but apparently not everyone chooses to. And I felt, oh, this is so cool, look at that. I can't believe it works that way. And I really enjoyed it. I liked the fact that I was able to build stuff, so build detectors and test electronics and then take the data and analyze it. So I really, you know, got a flavor of all those different pieces of, of nuclear physics research. And toward the end of my graduate school experience, I actually thought, um, I thought about a lot of things. So did I want to work in a lab or industry? And I eventually decided that I wanted to really go into teaching. And that way I could have undergraduate students actually do this work alongside of me. And so I've been doing that for, gosh, almost 10 years now at Augustana. When I'm with my undergraduate students in the lab and they're making a, a histogram of some nuclei that's never been, you know, never been studied before, and I'm like, do you see that? You were literally the first person to have looked at that. You know, and I'm like, wow, really? I go, yeah, I have no idea what it means right now, but you're the first person to have ever looked at that. It's really a great, and, and that happens a lot because we're studying things that people haven't looked at, or at least haven't published on. Maybe they looked at it and went, ah, I don't care. Um, but typically, um, it's because no one's really looked at it before. And that's what I think is exciting, right? Looking at things that people haven't seen before and going, no, really, no one has studied that, right? That kind of experience is one that I just love, and it's really fun to see that in, in my research students. And it's really fun to see that in elementary kids, right, when they're seeing something for the first time that they've never experienced before, and then it brings me back to the first time I saw it. Um, for me, that, those are the most exciting moments. Uh, publishing papers is great, and getting grants is great, but those are the moments that make it worth it.